This morning I woke up and I felt a lot better today. So I did my normal thing where I make breakfast. I also made Johnny snacks to go to work with like a salad and um, some nuts and seeds just so that he gets a good balanced diet, um, heart health and whatnot, you know, uh, as we get older, even though we hate to think that we're getting older, we have to take care of ourselves. So I look out for his heart condition and organs and whatnot, blood pressure. So I like to give him a diverse diet. And yeah, so he um, went to work with a salad and nuts and stuff. And then breakfast was um, toast with two fried eggs and hash browns. And I put chives on the fried eggs and some Parmesan freshly grated cheese and pepper. And that's it. He loved it. Um, just so you know, the toast was not um, burnt. It's jam. So, yeah, I thought I'd explain that because, you know, haters like to hate. Why did the other ones show up on here? Interesting. Anyway. Yeah. I don't know why there's not um, the other videos of when I was making it. I don't know. Anyway, that's his food this morning. Delicious breakfast. Lovely snack. And he loved every single bit of it. So I'm very happy about that. And then I went and I had my nap or lack thereof because I didn't really get to nap. As you'll see by my numbers later, um, I kind of just was laying in bed resting for two hours or so, and then I got up. And yeah, so that was basically my morning, and then I got up, I rested for a little bit, I paced myself today, I didn't push myself too hard. I stretched before I got out of bed, obviously, and then um, I read my Bible as I had my coffee. I did a little bit of my crocheting because I'm trying to finish the dress. I got a little more done. It's taking a while because I've never made a dress before, so um, I want to make sure I get it right, so I've been taking my time with it. I measured for the arms and... I'm almost done the bust part of it, and then I have to do the skirt part, which is the waist, down. And I'm super excited about doing that. I'm very, very excited, considering how well I've been doing so far. And so, yeah, I'm just going to get that done and then um, start on the coat, which the coat is going to be a goldenish colored um, kind of uh, yarn. And I'm super excited about doing the coat because I'm going to add a pocket. Maybe two pockets. Haven't decided yet. It's going to be interesting. Lovely little pockets. Anyway, I found two buttons that match for the dress. Because it will need to have some kind of buttons to close up the back part. So I'm going to add those later after I'm done the bust area and the skirt part anyway you guys will see the progression because I will definitely post pictures of it and then my boys asked me if I can make their teddies some clothes in a backpack and I'm gonna learn how to do that and possibly do that I mean I'm I've been crocheting flowers and crosses for months and months and months, nearly a year now. So I thought I should, you know, level up, try and make a dress now. Now that I'm very comfortable with my crocheting skills, I should be able to do something other than 
flowers and crosses. So, and I'm proving to myself that I am quite capable of doing that. So I'm very happy. And yeah, so after I've done a little bit of that, I made some lunch after some reading with the boys. We basically just did some reading today. Um, we read the book of Romans and they're comprehending quite a bit, which is good. Then I made lunch, as you see here, beautiful lunch. And then right after lunch, we went outside for some uh, exercise. So we went outside for some exercise at the park. I did a 15 minute walk today. I didn't want to push myself and do 30. So I just did a 15 minute walk. And yeah, it was amazing and lots of fun. And as you can see, the boys were excited with their lunch. Um, they had a diverse lunch today too. I gave them nuts and fruit cup, which was pears and sandwich and the twisties they're like my favorite chips because they melt in your mouth they you don't have to chew them they just melt so they're my favorite ones and then they had yogurt with it and water because i didn't have juice i went out and got some juice today so Tomorrow they're going to have apple punch, it's called, with their lunch. Super excited about that too. And then um, after we got back from our um, outdoor stuff that we did at um, the park, uh, I started dinner right away. I got out the vegetables and I started preparing them and... Um, I made chili stew. That's what it's called, chili stew. I'm super happy with it because I haven't had like a stew or a chili stew in a very long time. So I was very, 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 very happy with how it turned out. It turned out very well. And yeah, so uh, after I was done making it, or rather while it was stewing um, on like low for about 45 minutes to an hour we ran out and I bought some beads and buttons for the clothes that I'm making for the teddy bears now while you think that it might be like a waste of money it's just four dollars guys four dollars okay dollar store stuff come on now that's four dollars calm down Anyway, so yeah, so um, I did pretty good. I think I did well today. Uh, I think my thing was glitching this morning because I was up moving around since 4.30 and usually I have like, I'm standing for three hours by the time I go for my nap at six. So I think my app glitched today, but it registered on the move part. So I was moving clearly so I wasn't just sitting but it didn't register how long I was standing so I'm glad that the rest of the day it started like fixing itself which was good and it also registered that I didn't sleep <laughs> for my nap at six o'clock I just kind of just laid there for an hour and a half and then I got up I was like uh I'm not gonna sleep <laughs> so I just got up Anyway, this is when I started dinner. I did onion, garlic, mushroom, broccoli, red pepper, tomato, and then um, spinach. Then I did lentils and a little bit of hickory sauce in there and some broth, and then tomato soup. And then I added in chili and peas. Oh yeah, potato. Peas and carrots. And then my regular 
spices I usually use for medicine, which is this time I use oregano, uh, dill weed, turmeric, and coriander. And I just mix that all in there. Man, it was smelling so good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Johnny said it was the most delicious soup he's had in a long time. He missed my hearty soups. I haven't made them in like over a year. So it was bound to happen again. I need them. Especially the spinach. I love spinach. And so uh, this was just when I was mixing it up. Putting it together. Letting it. It has to warm up and fry a little bit. Some of the veggies first. That's the veggies frying a little bit with the spinach. And then I start adding in the wet ingredients. And as soon as the wet ingredients are in there, I brought it to a boil. And then once it was a boil, I turned it down to two. And I let it sit at two until Johnny got home and then I put it on low, put the lid on it and let it stew on low so it was like slow cooking while we went to the dollar store and then came back. And then once we got back, it was perfectly done. Potatoes were soft. Everything was great. And uh, yeah, then Johnny blended it and sifted it for me. And even though it was blended and sifted, it was still quite grainy. But I ate it. I ate a lot of it. And it was very good. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm probably going to have a panic attack if I don't stop eating right now. So I stopped eating after a little bit because I didn't want to have a panic attack from the grainy thickness of it. So, But ultimately, I ate like 75% of the bowl. So I did a, I did a good job. And this will last about two or three days. So that's good. And then uh, me and Johnny are going to make that really delicious Indian curry that he found a recipe for. That was the most delicious curry we've ever had. So he found a recipe for that. And we're going to we're going to do that up again. Um, most likely. Uh, when will we be done this? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Saturday we'll make the um, curry. And then Monday I'll make fried rice. And then fried rice will last about two days. Then Wednesday I'll figure out something else to make. Uh, probably a pasta with a meat sauce for the boys. Um... Yeah, see, I'm almost on the bus now. I'm super excited about it. Those are the armholes. And just so you know, uh, the way I'm doing it, it's upside down. So where I'm crocheting at is going down. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be making a collar and small part of the sleeve I'm going to be doing like a short sleeve half sleeve basically it's going to have like a like a going out like a frill almost from it and uh, I can't wait to do that it's going to be quite nice exciting exciting but yeah so this was my day I I worked hard uh homemaking and doing my duties around the house and I was super excited to do it as always I know I sighed but that's because my leg hurts but I still did it and I'm really super excited about how capable I am considering uh, what I'm going through and it's just remarkable how you can have like some issues going on and you pray and God answers your prayers through strength and he has given me quite the strength and I'm very grateful and thankful to him for that strength 
because I don't know if I would have been able to do all of today and keep things going if I didn't have the Lord just giving me that extra nudge, to be honest. I'm super, super thankful. Just super, super thankful. But yeah, so I'm just crocheting in my head right now. I really love crocheting. Have I said that before? I really love crocheting. I'm actually planning on crocheting myself um, like um, a head scarf. Because uh, I just, I don't know why I haven't tried to do it before. I just, I guess I wanted to m- learn how to do it properly first and like know that, like have my hands know what to do without having to watch a video. And now that I can, I can literally watch a video once and know exactly what I'm supposed to do. Like I just watched that video that I keep screenshotting and showing you. I've only watched it once. And so far, I've been following the same direction. Now, I know I will have to watch the portion about the skirt part of the dress. And probably I'll have to watch it again to see how to make the jacket. But other than that, I mean, I just watched it once and I'm already doing the bust the way that she did it. I had to measure my bunny though because, well... It wasn't exactly, uh, that was made for a doll that has a skinny upper body. So I had to measure the bunny through, um, chain link. Uh, so in the video, she does chain link, uh, 41 and I had to do 60 or no 52. I had to do 52. So just about, um, 11 more than what she did and then yeah so I had to do chain link 52 and now I'm currently and I had to do the arm part a little wider she did chain link 8 and then she went uh I don't know 7 over I did chain link 12 and I did 9 over so yeah and it's just perfect size for the bunny's arm like I measured it and then I put it on the bunny and to see if it worked and it did perfect perfect absolutely gorgeous so excited for when it's gonna be done sorry guys I got super excited thinking about it oh have I told you how much I love crocheting yeah I did I'll repeat it because I really love crocheting okay guys I'm gonna go I'm gonna go brush my teeth wash my face climb into bed do another row or two of the dress and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be on the skirt part which will be super exciting but I won't be starting to do that until um, after maybe lunch Um, because we usually have lunch just before school's over and they usually read out loud and I can crochet while they're reading um so yeah i'll be crocheting when they're reading out loud and 3 p.m will be school out and then physical activity and yeah so i'll catch you guys tomorrow love y'all later for now